I'm Bob from Hawkwork Hardware and today we're going to take a look at an unusual failure mode of some reed switches on a pedal board. Okay so what's happened here this is just the normal arrangement um, of reed switches so the pedals move down um, and expose the reed switches to a, a magnet behind which operates the reed switches so I've hooked up my test meter um, between the common line as you can see at the bottom um, and the opposite side of one of the reed switches and as expected if I can get the meter in shot at the same time if I press that down um, the meter changes to show that it's now connected it's zero or one ohm um, resistance and the meter beeps and that's what should happen obviously with all of the reed switches however if we move the meter along to the next reed switch and we do the same again nothing happens at all and there's no uh, change on the meter it's it's not even showing like a high resistance nothing if you go up to the higher ohms range and then repeat the test you still get nothing so obviously that reed switch isn't working however there's a strange peculiarity with reed switches and that is that if you listen to them um, if obviously have a look at them first if there's no mechanical damage and there doesn't appear to be to this one uh, if you listen to them you can hear them tick as they're exposed to the magnet and I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up but I'll give it a try I get the camera as close as I can and then just operate the reed switch gently okay and you get that tiny little tick which tells us that the actual reed inside the switch is moving and working um, now I haven't seen this before where the switch appears to be working it's still ticking it's not physically broken but it's not actually making an electrical connection and on this actual um, whole keyboard there are about six or seven switches that are performing in the same way okay so I'm going to remove this faulty reed switch now so first of all we'll just unsolder the wire from it and then rather than uh, just heating up the solder and lifting the switch up I'm going to use my desoldering tool to actually remove the solder first um, it's just because I don't want to damage the reed switch in any way I want it to come out in perfect condition so Okay, so that's the uh, the reed switch removed. Uh, doesn't want to focus very well, but we'll take a look at this um, under the microscope in a minute and see if we can get any clues as to what's gone wrong with it. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to replace it with a new one uh, and just make sure that that works. Okay, so I've fitted the new reed switch now. Uh, it's this one here. And if we do the same check again, um, so we get the meter in shot and I just push the pedal down, as you can see it changes to 2 ohms and the meter beeps. So that proves that there was no problem uh, with the magnet or anything else, it was simply the reed switch that's faulty. Um, but as I say, the reed switch looks perfectly okay, so we'll take a closer look at it and see if we can figure out what's going on um, and causing this problem. Okay, so here's a close-up look at one of the reed switches that came out of that uh, pedal board. There are actually six faulty switches um, in the end. And it's quite interesting to note that there's no obvious damage to the glass um, or to the seals at the end of the device where the wire goes in. Um, it all looks perfectly okay. And... It sounds okay when it's operating, but it just appears to be open circuit. Now I can only assume that what's actually happened here is that where the wires, where they go in, they look quite tarnished. Um, and I'm guessing that even though they look okay, uh, these seals at the end here have failed in some way and the air has got into this bulb. Um, and has oxidized the actual contacts themselves so even though they look perfectly okay uh, and they sound okay and they move and they touch together uh, there is actually uh, no electrical contact due to the tarnishing on the actual contacts there's a, a little kind of mark around this end of the tube that looks like maybe it could be a little crack it doesn't feel like a crack in the glass but I guess perhaps it could be 
but uh, anyway I just thought I'd point this out because I've not come across this before um, and so it's always worth actually checking the each reed switch with a meter and a magnet just to make certain now um, that they do actually do what they're supposed to do so I just hope that helps somebody